everybody, it's me Monica and welcome to another speed build. So today we are going to be doing Belle's Cottage from the Disney's Beauty and the Beast movie and I'm so happy and excited. This is my second Disney cottage so if you haven't seen the first one, please go check it out. It's from, it's a cottage from Sleeping Beauty and I spent a lot of time making it so I'm hope I'm hoping that you are going to like that one with as well. As you can see I already started with the exterior of this little cottage and I just wanted to say that I didn't use the foundations this time uh, except instead of using foundations I actually used platforms and the reason for that was that I wanted to make a basement that works and you can actually see me uh, making this entrance. I wanted the original entrance from the movie into a basement uh, be functional so I spent some time working on it you can see a little bit of time spent in here but in reality I spent much more time uh, but at the end I put the stairs in here and everything was functional I made this uh, doors with the tool mod so yeah everything works and i'm so happy because that was very important for me to do uh, i think that maurice is very important character as abel's dad in the movie so i really wanted to incorporate him into my story um yeah so i did that i actually made a basement for him and they're sharing um, the bedroom in the house so you are going to see that everything later on uh, also I pre-made a few things uh, firstly I pre-made those doors but <laughs> at the end I needed to change them out a bit and I also did Maurice machine if you remember that one from the movie um, he made like a very crazy machine so yeah i made my version of it you're going to see that in the basement later on so i'm going to yeah uh, i'm hoping that you are going to like it as well because i really spent a lot of time doing it but i just thought it could be a very cute extension to his workshop um yeah i made the whole workshop for him so <laughs> yeah as you can see i used a lot of things from the original scenery both the indoors and the outdoors um, in my last cottage i said that i made some screenshots from the original movie and i used that one that trick on this one as well so I put a lot of screenshots in front of me and just tried to do my best and you know copy it copy it the the best that I possibly could so I'm really hoping that I was successful and that you are going to like this build uh, this is my second cottage but I'm going to be doing Snow White as well and I'm going to try to do Tangled Tower. Um, so yeah, well, good luck with that one. Actually, I was thinking a lot uh, when I was on vacation how am I going to do this uh, build and actually when I was... Uh, on the seaside when I was you know thinking with my clear head and everything then I realized how am I going to do this basement functional because whew, I was scrolling through my head and thinking oh my god how can I do this I knew it that I can just put a normal basement and just show it under this grass that's not possible in the sims 
So the next idea I had was uh, to actually raise a foundation as always, but on that way I couldn't make this entrance functional as well. So I guess, okay, maybe I can figure something out with the platforms. Um, actually, there are a lot of Bell's cottages uh, on the internet and like I praised all of the <laughs> all of the creators who tried to do this and I think I was actually quite lucky because we have so much more features right now in the game than the other players had so yeah I think that I did probably the best job that I could <laughs> and I was thinking about all the details um, but as well, I added ivy and things like that, especially from the back of the house, because in the movie you cannot see the back of the house and it's, it looked pretty empty to me. So I decided to use some ivy and some piece of wood and some tools for the gardening and things like that and also I put a chicken coop in here because Belle and Maurice actually had chickens so I really thought that that would be very cute <laughs> so I did that and I also of course used a lot of bunnies in here and birds and things like that because I just wanted that forest uh, vibe uh, I always see in every single Disney movie um, in, the, in, in the cottages and things like that so yeah and I also did put a veil in here as you can see but I added a little piece of the roof um, so it looks more like uh, the one they had in the movie and yeah, also you can see me struggling a little bit here with the roof. Um, yeah, it just these Disney builds were like crazy. <laughs> Most of the time spent was practically just figuring out what am I going to do with like all of the things that I have and how can I incorporate that to my build? Of course, I'm very excited that I finally uh, play with the cottage living. So I really want to incorporate as much elements from cottage living into my builds. I think that's pretty normal. Most of the, the Sims, uh, most of the Simmers already overused cottage living, and everybody is excited about a new kit that is coming up, uh, like industrial kit. I think it's actually coming tomorrow, but I don't know. I can't say that I'm so excited about that one. I really like the industrial style. I, I cannot say I really like to experiment with the items that we already have, but hmm, the thing is, first of all, uh, the items look like the items I already have from the CC creators, which is pretty sad because I almost have a feeling that EA is copying what the CC creators are doing, which is pretty lame. <laughs> but okay, I mean, CC creators do much, much better work in making furniture and like, nobody can say otherwise. I don't know, do you like using custom content or not, but I really love it. Uh, I really like using custom content and my favorite creators are just so insanely talented and just what they're doing. I think that EA will never cope to that, so yeah. But it's pretty lame to see, you know, the same items that I already have in my game. So I would like to see really something, something new. Also, I saw on Twitter that people are not very pleased with uh, more 
items for build and buy. I mean, of course I am, <laughs> because I'm only building in The Sims and I didn't bought the previous pack uh, for the gameplay uh, Bust, Bust the Dust and I also didn't bought um, kit for Cass because I have so much custom content for Cass that I really don't need that, I don't want to give like 5 euros for that, so... I'm so sorry, you guys. <laughs> I still like build and buy the best. So, yeah. In that note, let's let's do this landscaping together. So, as you can see, I made this little garden uh, behind the the house, and I really thought that could be a very cool idea. So they can have, I don't know, some food of their own, um, from their own garden, and I think that's pretty realistic when you're playing with the cottage. And I really like that they actually edit that part into the game. As I said, I'm not that type of person who is going to do gameplay, but actually this one, I think <laughs> I'm going to try it. I really think because they edit so much animals and gardening and that's super super cute it really it's inviting it's very inviting you know so yeah i'm definitely definitely going to try that as well please guys tell me in the comments did you try this pack out already how do you like the gameplay how do you like the items i know that i'm so so late but unfortunately, yeah, as I said last time, I wasn't able to play because I took a vacation and I don't have a laptop. So yeah, it's a very sad story. But anyways, we are here in Maurice's workshop and I honestly really like this workshop, you guys. I added like woodworking table in here and I put this invention of Maurice and I just put kind of a lot of clutter um, and most of the things that I actually saw um, in the movie I I don't even know some uh, I don't know <laughs> you're going to see as you can see I'm adding like some tools and I think I added uh, some kind of sculptures that he made and just things like that. It was pretty hard for me because this is not a very realistic time. So I, I'm not sure is that in medieval time or which time this was actually. Um, I don't really think that Disney really have a time so it can be any time but I don't know I didn't want to add a lot of pipes and things like that but I made this this workshop um, round down a lot and just things like that I added clocks and I don't know just a lot of clutter that I could find that looked like they belonged to his workshop so I'm hoping that you're going to like this workshop because it's probably my favorite part of this house. Um, I don't know, as I said, there are so many builds already uh, from the Bells Cottage uh, onto YouTube, so I really want to, you know, try to push myself to do something different and I didn't see any of the cottages having an actual basement that is functional so I thought okay maybe it's my time I'm going to be the first one to deal with that and yeah I'm still in the phase that I re where I really want to show myself to you um, I mean I guess that I'm going to stay in that phase forever because I'm doing this not only for you, but I'm doing it for myself. 
I just like to challenge myself to build more and to build better and just learning new things and exploring and things like that. So yeah, it makes me very happy when I'm successful, you know? <laughs> and also you can see uh, me adding this kind of piece uh, on the roof, roof piece. And I actually saw something like that in my reference picture, so I wanted to recreate something like that. I think it was something like planets or something like that. <laughs> I'm not really sure, but that item really reminds me of that, so I decided to incorporate it here as well. As you can see, I also used palette. And I think that I just added a lot of chests, like different types of chests in here, also books and just basically everything that I could find. And also I was really trying not to um, use lamps and things like that that are usually taking uh, electricity. Uh, I used mostly candles and lanterns and things like that. I don't know, <laughs> that's probably who I am. I just think about everything, every single detail. I think it's almost like obsession of mine or I don't know, just what's wrong with me. <laughs> but I can't do a build that is so-so. If I do a build that is so-so or regular or I don't think it's good enough. I just kind of scrap it and don't do a video for it. And I actually did a lot of those types of builds. Um, as you can see, I'm not really making videos uh, too often. I think it's probably one or two per, per week and I really want to change that but on the other hand I don't want to lose the quality of my videos because I really tr wanted to try to do like quality videos and not just you know quantity and yeah, oh my god, what am I talking about? But it's it's true, I just want my uh, videos to be quality and um, I want to be satisfied with what I'm doing and if I'm not, then I'm not happy. And basically, yeah, that's it. <laughs> As you can see, we finished Maurice's workshop, so we are started uh, starting uh, with the indie interior of the house oh my god this English is sometimes so hard for me <laughs> it's so hard to pronounce the words but okay I think I'm managing it you know I'm trying every single time so that's good that's good so we have this part in here which is kind of mesh between living room and dining room and the kitchen all in one there is not a lot of space to sit down but that's actually the space that i saw in the movie they don't really have a lot in their cottage they have like this fireplace and a rocking chair and just a little table so i decided to go for that and as you can see at the front of the house, I actually put this little table so they can also eat outside. And as I said before, I did a bedroom for the both of them because first of all, this cottage is super small and I decided to put Maurice as the character as well because that was very important in my head. So I figured they're very close and they can easily share a bedroom. I don't know, so they're sharing the bedroom. Anyways, like Belle is going to move out to the castle, so who cares? Maurice is going to have his room for himself anyways. <laughs> so yeah, that was the initial idea also. I put a lot of clutter, as I always do, 
um, in my builds. I just kind of can't help myself. I really like clutter in The Sims. Uh, well, in the real life, well, it kind of depends on the build. Definitely, if you live in a super modern house, it doesn't look very nice to have clutter. It looks pretty dumb, <laughs> if you ask me. So, yeah, but cottages, I think that's very realistic. I like to have a lot of clutter everywhere and as you can see, I don't really have upper counters in this kitchen, so I needed to uh, add a little bit more of extra clutter just to look more realistic, <laughs> I think. So, yeah, I give it a go, as I always, always do, but I'm actually proud of myself when I put a lot of clutter on its place and everything looks lived in, just that vibe. Oof! I would really like to live in this Bell's Cottage. It's super, super cute. Guys, please tell me in the comments, do you like it? And also, please, if you haven't done that already, subscribe to my channel. We just hit one, uh, my first 1000 subscribers, so that's awesome. And I would really like to keep on and doing more videos for you, so please support me. That would mean uh, that would mean a lot to me. Thank you so much. And of course, click like if you like this video. If you don't, well, <laughs> you can pass this one. <laughs> but yeah, after this one, I'm having some plans for of doing Snow White's Cottage. Um, I don't know, I think that one is probably going to be the easiest one of them all. Um, I can't say for sure because I haven't started it yet. Uh, actually, I finished this house yesterday at the evening, so I was very excited to make a video for you. So yeah, I decided to do it today, woohoo! <laughs> but tomorrow I will probably start with the Snow White's Cottage or day after that, so I think it's going to be done pretty soon. So here we are in the bedroom, so you can see like two beds in here and you can see that I actually used the computer that we've got in the new expansion pack and I must say guys that I really love that computer. It's super cute and I think it goes very very well with both cottages and different types of historic builds. So yeah and actually this dresser I used two times. The dresser that we've got from Cottage Living because it's so super cute and this color went so well with the rest of this room, so I was pretty pleased with that. Uh, as you can see, this room is pretty min minimalistic because it's pretty small, especially for two sims, but I think it turned out pretty cute. I used this new carpet and oh my god, guys, I really enjoy this cottage living expansion pack like all of the items are so pretty they're perfect for for my play like perfect i can't even tell you how much i adore them i really wish to have more <laughs> items like this but yeah, they didn't incorporate so much items because I think this is more of a gameplay expansion pack, so yeah. So thank you guys so much for everything. Please, as I said, subscribe to my channel, click like, and I'll be seeing you very, very soon. Bye, you guys!